You are watching the biggest, the largest, the highest, the greatest, the tallest, and the mightiest African spiritual platform. I'm always queen of consciousness. Call me Queen Hadasha. I am Empress, the only Empress, Makida. I am the spear of destiny. Call me the woman of peace. I welcome you, my people, with lots of love. Love, love, and hate, hate, my consciousness family. I welcome you to another great episode. Today we have one of our brothers here. If I say brothers, boy, you are and I also say African. They are all our brothers and sisters. We are one people. Remember that. Who is going to talk to us about his encounter with God? The power of faith in Christ Jesus. In Christ Jesus. That's what we are going to discuss today. It's a great topic, but before we start all this conversation let's welcome him and let's know him better because he's one of our stars papa we welcome you to revelations thank you so much margaret great um today is your first time on this big pl platform yes so please pay obeisance to my followers and my subscribers and introduce yourself to us all right first of all i would like to give um thanks to the organizers of this platform I say God richly bless you for giving me the opportunity to come and share with you my encounters with God. And for you uh, followers of this platform, uh, kudos and uh, I salute you. My name is Mr. Benjamin Kwadi. I'm in the media. Um, I train people, like actors, and uh, I've been in showbiz for 30 years. Wow. Yeah. You've been in showbiz for 30 years? Yes. Tell us how we, we know you. The common ones that everybody is... Uh, All right, is. so if you have watched Sun City before, I play the role of Timothy Jebler in it. Uh, the young guy with bushy hair. I used to plait my hair and, and so on and so forth, but I've cut my hair. So uh, many a times when people see me, they'll go like, ah, it seems like I know your face. It's just because I've cut the hair. Mm. All right. Okay, so where is the hair? I've cut it. Okay. Where is it? You, th you threw them away. Eh? I've cut it. Uh, yeah. You cut it. Where is it? Do you need it? Yes. Why? Why is it? That huh? is my hair. Uh, so where is it? I, I have cut it off. Uh -huh. So where is the hair? I have cut it off. Uh -huh. You've cut it off. Do you need it? No. Where uh, is so it? Is it necessary? <laughs> <laughs> you when, are where, that when, you cut, when you cut your hair off, you dispose it. Uh, people so. dispose it. Some don't dispose it. Depends. Oh. Okay. That's why I was asking you where oh, is it. All right. Uh -huh. All right. I understand. Okay. We welcome you, brother. We appreciate your presence on this platform. You've been in the uh, media for 30 years. Yes. How good has the media impacted the youth in Ghana? Okay. The Bible says that train up the child the way he should go, and when he grows, he will never depart from it. Everything has positive and negative side of it. When you take a knife, you can use the knife to cut tomatoes and all that. It's the other good side of it. Somebody gets angry, takes the same knife and stabs his fellow man. So it depends on what you use the tool that is in your hands to do. That will show whether it is positive or negative. So in my case, I use whatever gift God has given me to impact life positively. So if I should go on Facebook, social media, I impact life positively. Rather than maybe going there to watch pawns or share pawns and negative things and changing people's mind negatively. So the same um, uh, other people will also go there with a different intention. But what we use, what we have is very, very important. So the media itself in general. It's very positive. It's very positive. But depending on the person behind the wheel. So you've been in the media for 30 years, measuring it from when you started till now. How good percentage and how bad it has caused us as Africans? When you say how bad it has caused us, I, said I told you... the both sides. I told you that depending on who is handling the tool or the gift, you understand? So, like, let me tell you something. I, I hand the camera, all right, and I direct. Now, if I take the camera, me being behind the camera depends on what I want to shoot and what kind of impact I want to make with what I shoot and what I want people to see. Somebody will take the same camera and can use it for evil. I don't know if you're getting what I'm saying. So if you ask me, since I've been in the media. For 30 years. Hold it, you ask me on the bad side. And I'm telling you. Both, I said both. Yes. 
So I'm saying that I don't be behind the camera to use it for bad side. That is why I can't tell you the bad side of it. I don't know if you get what I'm saying. Uh, you are personalizing it now. I'm no, not doing that. You're asking me. Uh, I'm not. I don't want us to personalize it. Personalize it. Are you are generalizing in, it. Yes, I said in general. Oh, okay. okay uh -huh. no. because you're asking you, me personally. No, 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 no. I said in general. Okay, because so you've been in it for a very long time, you've seen in and out of it. That's why I'm asking you this question. Okay, that okay, now the media in general. Now uh -huh. I understand. Mm -hmm. When it comes to um, the positive side of it, it informs, it entertains, it sensitizes people, it changes people's mind positively. All right? Uh, like, for instance, if right now something has happened, as I'm sitting here, you can be in the comfort of your home and get uh, to know an information that if there is no media, you wouldn't have heard it, uh, heard of it. But at the other side of the coin, there's a other negative side of media because of what we project. Uh, we have kids sitting at home. There are certain things that are the normal circumstance children are not supposed to see. But when you look at the social media as a, uh, um, aspect of it, which is also part of the media, Everybody has access to it. It doesn't have like a window where um, uh, someone has to open it for you before you can enter. Uh, people go there and they can do any other thing. Somebody can just take, uh, what do you call it, a phone, um, naked him or herself, and dance, twerk and all that, and put it there. There is no gateway when, when it comes to like uh, having access in that area. Uh, when it comes to law, you would have to go to school, uh, maybe for four or whatever, eight years or ten years before you can have your certificate. When it comes to media, there's no uh, like door that uh, anybody can just be in the media. You can just take your camera and straight away. So that's the negative aspect of it that I say that other people who are not um, having positive mind to handle that tool are using it uh, to destroy the youth. So if we should make you the president of the media right now, yeah. five things you would take away from the media. Five things I would take away from the media. All right. Um, with my stand, like I told you something earlier on, train up the child the way he should go, and when he grows, he will never depart from it. Um, I've been to school where I've seen people smoking weed and all that. Now, these people get to know weed smoking, many of them, because of the friends they associated themselves with, that they, they, they learned from, and then they also began to do that, okay? Um, so using the media, because people see it, I'll take, I'm sure uh, people use, uh, what do you call it, some of the things that they show, they can show the sexual immorality and all that. Some of the films they show that projects, um, um, like for instance, you can, you can watch a film that can project gayism, lesbianism and all that, supi supi and all that. Those things, I'll take them out. I will, I will project like content that can impact, like um, uh, things that will just uh, tell you not to be lazy, things that will tell you to um, make God the center of your life, things that will tell you to respect uh, the, uh, the elderly and all that. Things morally, that's, that's, that's what I would do. You are watching the biggest. Now that you've mentioned gayism and lesbianism, Christians hate it. You know that. They don't want to know about it. Though they have a, a bit of history about it in the Bible, Sodom and Gomorrah, mm -hmm. but they don't like it, especially African Christians. They don't like it at all. When you get into Islam, they also hate it. Mm -hmm. They don't like it at all. Ghana, we have 70% of the country as Christians. The rest can be Muslims. When you get into parliament, mm -hmm. I don't, I have not seen any uh, or confu and affected priests in parliament. Mm. They are mostly Christians or Muslims. Mm. So now, um, you people have dominated this country and still we are fighting homosexualism. So who are those practicing it at all? Um, I will still say the same thing I will keep on telling you over and over. And then when I finish, I'm going to share a story with you train up a child the way he should go. And when he grows, he will never depart from it. Somebody picked me. You know Azigiza? Azigiza, mm -hmm. who's, who's in the media. Mm -hmm. right. I used to attend uh, a school. One day after the school, 
Um, I got to Nungwa and somebody picked me up because the person came, was sitting in the Porsche car at the time, um, came and picked me and said that I should show him uh, where Vagnizer is. It was late in the night. At that time, I didn't know who a gay is. I don't know. I didn't know their practices and all that. When the person picked me, his glasses were rolled up. I was in the car. But as he was driving and asking me questions, then he would just slap my thigh and then rub it like this. I never knew about wh who, who a gay is. And then when we got to where the organizer uh, was, they said they are closed. I said, okay, I wanted to go. He said, oh, I shouldn't worry. The person showed us a, a different place. He said, well, I should sit down and escort him. We went to the second organizer. Let me mention specific place so it really be like I'm creating a story. You know um, Nungwabare, right? Nungwabare, on your right, there used to be a organizer there. When you get to the barrier where they are doing the over, overpass, on the left, there's an another organizer there. So that's the second place that we, we went. I used to live with, uh, I used to live at the Regimanwe Estate. So when we got there too, they had closed. I told the man I, I, I wanted to leave. They said, oh, I shouldn't worry. I should say that he will drop me at home. We will go and he asked me, do you drink alcohol? I said, I don't drink anything alcohol. And then when we got to our junction, he just uh, bypassed it. I said, ah, this is where I live. He said, oh, why don't we take a stroll and all that? The man took me ahead and then he branched the Spinters Road. He went to buy me a beer, like Australian beer. It was in the, this is somebody I've told um, um, that I don't drink, take anything alcoholic. He gave me one, he took one, opened it for me, immediately splashed. It just took, uh, what do you call it, uh, tissue and cleaned it for me. And in my mind, I was like, oh God, like you're giving me some, somebody great, like to help me or something. And then he was chatting with me and all that. He was telling me how he was going to help me to learn how to drive and all that. And then he sped off on Spinters Road. What? He was, he was still doing that that. Then do you know what the man did? He held my hand. He got to a point in time. Then he held my hand. Pulling my hand to touch his prick. Then that's where I realized, no. I said, no, 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 no. I'm not going to do this. I had a bag. I put it on my thighs. He wanted to touch my prick. I put the bag on. I prevented him and all that. I said, I told him that he should take me home. Whilst we were going, instead of him to take me home, there was a, there was a particular branch on the left. The place was dark. By the time I realized the man was off and he was speeding off, then I asked him, where exactly are you going to turn? He said, well, I shouldn't worry. He was turning, he, was, um, uh, he would turn. Then he, the man turned back. Then he was telling me that, you know, once a while, when you sing, it doesn't matter. I said, no. Do you know something? Whatever you do on earth, one day you stand before God and you account to it. So whatever, when he speaks darkness, I speak light. Finally, he took me. Um, towards Regiment. No, no, that's what I take care of him. You are were still in the car. I was Obi Afa, you are coming from me. You wait, you wait. So he took me. When we got to Regiment, do you know his intention? He has given me that drink, thinking that when I drink, I'll feel dizzy. All the rounds that that was oh, his so intention. So you, you took the, dr the drink. You drank it. Relax. Me, person, me who? Relax. Okay. He finished drinking this. All I was doing, I was just sip, and I, I had all the this in, uh, like in the, in the, in the. Did in the you can. drink any at all? You sipped. I sipped. But so you drank a bit. That's what I'm saying. Okay. So, but everything was in the this in. Mm -hmm. So he was thinking that I was going just going to grab it, and then he, like I would just get drunk and all that. When we got to Regimental Estate, and in front of the house, I said, "This is my house." When I was about getting done, and he drove the car again. I said, hey. ah. He was moving me around the regiment estate. I said, ah. And then finally he wanted to exit. I said, ah. But why, why are you going to stop? I, I need you to go home. It's, it's late. Do you know that when I got down, that it occurred to me that no, I should have taken the guy's uh, details. By the time I wanted to take the, the car number, the man has um, left. He told me his name was Peter. Do you know afterwards, I saw this same car, the car number. I will never forget it. It's GR three triple six, but I've forgotten the last letter. It was um, um, BMW with golden color. Okay, I saw that car parked at um, uh, Dangwa Circle, so I went to the, the man and, and knocked. I said, "Peter, Peter, Peter." He didn't even mind me. You understand? So imagine, I was looking 
at what the man was going to do for me. I was looking at the money he was trying to mention for me. I would have fallen into the trap of the devil. You fell into the trap already. I did not. Listen to what you are telling me. Now, one, you picked, uh, somebody picked you in his car mm -hmm. and started slapping your tie. What did I tell you earlier? I'm coming. Oh. What did I tell I'm you? I'm coming. Oh. Wait. Relax. So, uh, so uh, hey, is it you, let me let me end. Ah. When I end and what how I'm putting it is not uh, so. so. Say, exactly he started slapping your your ties. As in the, when he was changing gear. That's what I'm saying. Okay. okay. So you were not comfortable with it, right? Were you comfortable? I was saying that I didn't know who a gay is. That, that's what I'm saying. That well, So I didn't know what the person was doing. So what he was doing, were you comfortable with it or not? That's the question. How would I know whether I was comfortable? I, I don't know if you get what I'm because saying. Because you sat in someone's car. If the person is changing gear and will be slapping your tie. You were not okay according to your narration. You get to, you ask whether you drink an al alcohol. You said no. Mm -hmm. And then the person go and park somewhere. Get off the car. Go and buy a, a drink from a shop. You were still sitting in the car, right? Mm -hmm. You didn't open the door to leave. Mm -hmm. Because the person is slapping your tie. I then ask you whether you drink an alcohol. You, do, you didn't think this was a red mm -hmm. flag. Mm -hmm. You were still sitting in the car. He bought the drink for you. Open it for you and clean it with the tissue and mm -hmm. gave it to you. That tissue can be any kind of drug. And then you said you didn't drink. You were sipping. If that man should have put in anything at the tip of the, the bottle, you, you, were, you would have been gone. You sat in the car, he went to buy you the drink. Somebody who doesn't drink alcohol, you started sipping alcohol. And you were still sitting in the car. So how do we place so this I, conversation? Can I answer your questions? Yes. Okay, so let me ask you a question. You see, all of us in this room, when something is happening, the time you get a signal will be different from mine. Ah, so the time, hold on, mm. you, you said something, let me answer you. The time he will get a signal, at the point something is happening, will be different from I. Or you, you, do you think that all of us will be the same time? I'm just asking. No, yes. that, that's why I'm so asking I'm telling you, you that. So what I'm telling you the time I got the signal, I told you that. When the person was touching my prick, if I told you, that I accepted that the person was playing with my place. It's not about then, you oh, accepting. On, you on. play something here. Hold it means on. what the person is doing is not good. Hold Why were you still sitting hold in his on, car? Hold on. That's what hold I'm on. not getting. Hold on. Hold on. Mm. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Mm. Margaret. Mm? I don't know if you followed the story that I shared with you. Don't mind me. I said the man should take me home. Did he bring you to wherever you were standing before he picked you? Is that what? Did he bring you to wherever you were standing before he picked you? Okay, so na na let me tell you something. You see, uh, where the man picked me, mm -hmm. my transport from mm -hmm. where I went to school mm -hmm. to where I was, mm -hmm. I had to trek because my money for the transport is finished. Mm. Okay. No, Allah. So no, no, no. I, 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 want, I, I, want, to, I want to answer you. Mm. So my money is, is finished. So I had to, like, so in my mind, I had to trek from do you know Katamanton Junction? Do you know Nunga Katamanton Junction? Mm -hmm. I have to check from there to the Nunga Barre because Regimental Estate is there. Mm -hmm. right? And that is where the man picked me. So if the man had uh, dr driven me all the way to Sprinters Road, so in your case, like if it were you, you will check from there and come home. That that's will be your decision, right? No, that, that, not, you are not talking about my decision, but me, if I hear you this, somebody is showing you all this bit of... So if you say, I fell in the trap, what does it mean? I didn't say you fell in the trap. That's what you said. No, me say you would have. Uh, I thought you said I fell into it because oh. I, I said... I, I did if you... But what I'm see, saying is that um, I, I think you have to take your time in listening to my questions so you are able to answer them. Je, je, je. The point I'm trying to make is this. Mm -hmm. You sat in someone's car. At this point, the man has put you through... We're breaking the rules of not even drinking alcohol by you sipping the alcohol he bought for you. And he started driving you, and uh, you were rather asking, where are you going to drop me? You have to say, man, let oh, me get okay, down. Okay. He was touching your bumbo, f and you are still holding First of briefcase. all, you have to ask, at what age was I? At you what to, age? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Relax, uh, relax, relax. Uh, you see, you're asking me questions as if at this age that I sat in a car. No, no. Because at this age, my reaction... And uh, my knowledge that I have right now will be different from at that time. I'm talking to you about 
do you remember the time when they were doing this African American summit? When KSM started his stand up comedy, I'm talking about that time when he started, when he wasn't even known. At that time, it was so many years ago. So, the way I would think now will be different from the time I was sitting in the car. And even still, God was able to deliver me from that because I, anything could have happened in the car. Mm. God and deliverance. Yes, we of course. understand. Uh, yes, I'm God coming. You, this is not the question I am asking. I am asking this question. And the question is this. Everybody is frowning at this gayism uh -huh. and lesbianism stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, it's been, a law is passed in the parliament. Yes. Rah, rah, everywhere, they are talking against it. But people are in the act. Mm -hmm. So I'm asking, who are those practicing it? You see, I will keep on telling you this. You see the story I told you? Mm. If I wasn't trained well, I would have chased money and fallen into it. Train up a child the way it, sh it should go. And when he grows, he will never depart from it. When I watch TV, uh, uh, they show a lot of things on TV. They show a lot of things on social media. When you go and all that you look at is to porn, is to watch porn and watch like things of that nature it goes into the brain and all that so you still can be a christian and still will be practicing certain things you are not supposed to do it is because of what you feed your eyes with and what you feed your ears with train up a child the, the way, way you go. go and when he goes he will never depart from so you. are you saying those who had practicing this their parents didn't train them well their parents didn't train them well you said train up a child yes the way he should go or yes. she should go okay so when he grow up Okay. He will not depart okay. from, from so, it. So I'm going to give you two answers. Either they were trained well, and somewhere along the line, they followed certain friends who influenced them and infiltrated whatever education or training has been given, and that kind of infiltration overcome all the training that their parents have given to them. So it means when somebody grow, he can depart from the training, right? Am I correct? From what you are saying, yes. if you train up the child the that, way that's you should. the person's choice. Uh -huh, that's, that's the, the person's choice. That is when he grows up, right? So, so when you grow up, you, now you have a choice. You have a choice, so you can depart from it. Am I correct? Bible says train up the child the way he should grow. Should go. He should go. When, so when, when, he grows, when he grows, he will, he will, will never, not depart. never depart from it. Okay, so let me, give, let me use a tree uh -huh. as an example. Now, when, uh, when you plant a tree, during the beginning stages... All right, you can just prune it and turn it the way you want it to go. If you wait and it becomes like um, um, a very big tree, it will then become difficult for you to straighten it up. All right, all I'm saying is that when you train a child, like for instance, you have children, you always hold your hands or you lay your hands on them and prophesy over their lives. As they are going, by the time you realize, you see your own child laying his hand on someone. It is because of the training you have given to the person. That's what the person has learned from you. So when the person even goes outside, what you have trained him, he will take that knowledge outside and amongst his, his peers. But what I'm saying is that if the person that you have trained paid heed, just as he paid heed to you and took that training from you, and he went outside and paid heed to the kind of negative influence that the people are giving him, there's a likelihood that the person can go back into the world. That's what I'm asking. That's, That's all I'm saying. So, so what I'm saying is uh -huh. simple. Uh -huh. That the Bible says, train up a child yeah. the way he should go. Yeah. And when he grows, he will not depart from it. Yes. So how come people are departing now? Now he's a choice. He's grown and he's going to join bad, bad friends okay, and so he's doing things. So, so is that what the scripture is the so, scripture so, lying. So, you see, God has not created us like robots. Oh, really? If God has created us like robots, <coughs> eh, judgment will not be fair. Mm. So like, for instance, if the way I'm sitting here, um, if I decide right now, I want to get up, I want to get up and leave. It is me that I've taken the decision. Mm -hmm. So if I come and share the word of God with you, you have a choice to either accept it or to. Or oh, to I don't me. want. I don't even want us to go to into this sharing of word with individual people. We are talking about the scripture. 
That's what I'm talking grow about. Up, grow up a child the way he, uh, uh, he should grow or should go. Yeah. So when he, did, he, he grows, he will not depart from it. Yes. This person has trained a child. He is grown and he is now departing from it. Why, why is it departing? We have to also look at the cause. The Bible didn't Margaret, put any cause there. We have to look at the cause for which the person is departing. And the Bible said so that he will not depart from it. And now the child is departing. So what? what, what is, why, why, is the this why is the person departing is what I'm telling you. The Bible didn't add anything. It said train up a child the way he should go. Or he should... Uh, so when he grows, he will uh, not depart from it. Now the child has you, grown and is departing. Did you, did you hear the answer I gave ministers. you? You let's leave it. This is not actually your topic. No, I gave you an answer. That if the training you have given to the child... The person has friends. The person goes to school. The person is at workplace. You are not there. You have given the training to the person. So I'm saying that if the person pay heed to the same training you have given to the child, to those that are giving him the negative. Exactly what I'm saying, you know. So I've answered you. Osofo, exactly the point I'm making. Bible say train up a child the way he should go. And when he grow, he will not depart from it. Now I have trained up my child that love a woman with two breasts, with a soft body. The child has now grown. Everything I trained this child, Bible says he will never depart from it. Ma, now he's going to ma, join ma, by fre bad ma, friends. Ma, 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 and he's departing ma, from ma, this. Ma, ma, and I'm ma, asking God that, ma, ma, why do you tell me my child will never depart from ma, God and now the child is departing? Where your question? Ma, 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 Grace. Hmm? Do you know that you can have your policies and everything that as for this one i'm not going to do this but somebody can bring something that maybe you love it all right that can change what you stand against and they say departing now. oh i'm Departure. just asking you personally me me at this point eh i don't think anybody can change my no, mind no, no. i'm telling you okay okay if if, <laughs> if hold on relax, <laughs> relax i've had somebody who got closer to me because he thinks that he can use my face to deal in cocaine. Really? Um, 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 I want you to pay attention to what I'm telling you. There are people mm. who genuinely, they stand against certain things. But because of money or something that was shown them, immediately changes their mind just because of what has been put on the table. Same mm. departure. You let's get into your topic. Go ahead. Mm, let's get into your topic. Your topic is my encounter with God, the power of faith in Christ Jesus. What's the name Jesus? Uh, now, you have a problem with the name Jesus? No, because they didn't write it here. Oh, no, no. Uh, okay. They didn't write it oh, here. Okay. That's what I'm having. And the way I you don't have on, a problem with the way anybody. You keep on, no, no. The way you keep on saying, should I add Jesus? Yeah. Me, if <laughs> you even bring Obron Sam here, I will sit here and talk to him. Me, I don't have problem with anything in life. That's me. No, the way you are stressing, that's Because it's not here. Okay, that's I, why I'm asking if I, I can understand. add. Uh -huh. I Some people, when so you say Christ, you got, you got uh -huh. add. Uh -huh. add. that's why I'm asking you. you got add. I'm a woman of peace. So I won an award <laughs> for that too. A woman of peace from okay. bishops of all bishops. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. So that we are discussing encounter with God. His encounter, not my encounter. His encounter with God. And then the power of faith in Christ Jesus. That is his topic. First and foremost, I want you to define the word Christ Jesus. Define it. When you are done, define what is God or who is God before we get into your topic. Okay, if you say Jesus, Yeshua Amashiach, happens to be the son of the living God, all right, who was crucified on the cross, not just being crucified, but it was for a reason, to reconcile humanity back to God, the Father. Because sin has separated humanity from God. So when you believe, John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Therefore, when we believe in this Jesus that I'm talking to you about, who is Yeshua Mashiach, when we believe in, in him, that of course he died on the cross for the sake of my sins. If I believe in him and uh, believe the fact that he died on the cross, he resurrected and for, for my sake, 
then that gives me the assurance of that salvation that I'm talking to you about. So my belief is in Christ Jesus, death and resurrection. So that's that. And then you asked me the second question. Which I question? just said define Christ Jesus and also define God. That was the question. I should define Jesus. Yes, define him. When you say I should define him, I will tell you who Jesus is. And that's what I've done. And, and you are asking me the next one, so I'm adding it to you. So I said define Jesus and define God. You are asking me the next question I asked. Okay. And I'm repeating so the So Jesus Christ question. is the same person I'm talking about? The God. I, I said, do you get my question? I said define... I should define who God is. Ah, you said I should also tell you who God is. I said define him. Okay, so mm -hmm. God is the one who created heavens and the earth and everything that we see and do not see including you and i and all that we see uh, which god which god because you know yahweh. we have a lot I of i am god. that i am yahweh 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 is god yes yahweh is god i am that who i am who told you that who told you that yahweh is the creator of this universe okay you see before you say something then you also have to have a source okay 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 so the bible tells me that the Bible tells you that Yahweh, the Israel God Yahweh, is the God that you created... See, when, you, when, when, when somebody I'm says... Coming I'm home. coming to I'm coming to you. Let me land. When somebody says the Israel God, ah, is God only for the Israelites? Uh, we are using the Bible. No, no. The Bible is for all. The Bible is not for so Israelites. You've not seen, you've not seen anywhere in the Bible that God, uh, the Yahweh you are talking about, ascribing himself to the Israelites. You've never heard this. My people, let my people go. My people, Israel, my people. You, you've not seen this in the okay. Bible. Okay, so if I should understand it that way, then why do I have anything to do with him? Has he given me the chance to come to him as my father? Because I call him father as well. Mm. So if you say, if you separate him, like this is Israel God, then no, 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 I'm not saying that. I'm asking, you said Yahweh is the creator of the universe. Yes. Then I'm asking you, is the Israel Yahweh, and you said he's for all of us. So I'm just making... Okay, so, so the next question that I will ask to answer your question is that, the same God that I'm talking about, who is the God of the Israelites that you're saying? Is it the same God who created me? That's the question that I also ask. You ask who? You. I am asking you questions. But I also ask a question. No, you can't. You are answer. answering my okay, questions so, rather. So, okay, so let me, let me answer you. Mm -hmm. The same God that created the Israelites is the same God that created you exactly and I. Exactly my question. Yes. So I'm asking, is, you said Yahweh. So I'm asking you if Yahweh is the supreme being or is the one that created the whole universe. Is it Yahweh that created the whole universe? Yes, Yahweh can create Yahweh can create human beings. Maybe Yahweh, Yahweh created you. He didn't create me. You don't have my permission to speak on my behalf. Oh, okay, okay. So, no, but no, no, Yahweh, no, no, no. Yahweh can create you. There's no problem about that. No problem. Because it's possible. But I'm asking you who God is. And you said Yahweh. And yes. I'm asking you if you feel the, the God of Israel, Yahweh, is the creator of this universe. Anna. That's the question. Yes. It's the creator of all. To you. So, 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 see you. Margaret, let me tell you something. Okay. Whether you believe it that God created you mm -hmm. or did not create you, the uh -huh. truth is that he created you. By force. Oh. oh. Yahweh didn't create it, 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 just, He like, created you, 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 you and it's fine. You, you wait, wait, wait. Uh -huh. Let, 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 me, let uh -huh. me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Uh -huh. Now, you see this building. Mm -hmm. If this man standing there built it and he's no more here, and I know that he created, he built this house. Mm -hmm. And then you come and tell me that, oh, be honest for me, I don't believe that he created it. I mean, what do you telling me that doesn't mean that it is no truth? You see, you have your opinion. Mm -hmm. See, you, you have oh, your opinion. That's it. If I should tell you, if I should tell you that, I heard God telling me today that is in. I heard it. So you have your opinion whether to say exactly oh, relax, my point. Let me land. Let me land. Whichever answer you gave me, whatever stand you take, all right, it's my that's choice. Don't yes, it's your choice. But that's not make what i am saying a lie i didn't did i mention any I'm, lie I'm, I'm just telling you uh -huh. i'm just telling you so that mm -hmm. it wouldn't be like no i'm not i have not i can't even say that to you no if you're sitting on my said that it, what you are saying is a lie because, i will never do such uh -huh. a thing because you said because you said yahweh created me no because you. you said whether i like it or not he created me 
and you. And I'm telling you, Yahweh they didn't create me. Maybe he created you. Okay, that's so, what I'm saying. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. That, that is your opinion. That's but exactly. your opinion that you have said uh -huh. doesn't make uh, doesn't uh, uh, nullify the fact that I'm sharing the truth with you. It doesn't nullify the fact. You are saying what, what your are, truth. It's, it will not be my how truth. Many, how many truths do we have? Eh? How many truths do we have? It depends on who is talking. That's no, 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 no. what you are saying. You, see, you are saying that whether I like it or not, uh, Yahweh um, created me uh, and you. Uh, 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 and I'm saying that it's a choice. Yes, it is true. Uh, if Yahweh created so, so you, but you don't have my permission to say that Yahweh created me. I don't me need because your Because he didn't uh, create me. I don't need your I permission. I am telling you, I'm Yahweh gonna, didn't create hold on, hold on. me. I don't need your permission uh -huh. to share the truth also with you. Also, I'm saying that Yahweh didn't create me. Mommy Grace, admit that. You can't force How can me. I admit lie? No. Uh, which, what's a lie? It if is it, me we are talking God about. Create, I'm coming. If you tell me that God... Did, it's just like... Uh, That's the problem. Uh, uh, no, no. The God I ask you, you said Yahweh. And I'm also telling you that if God, any God created me, it's surely not Yahweh. Okay, but okay. if he created you, okay. that's okay. So awesome. Please, that's fine. Uh, Mommy Grace, which God created you? Eh? Which God created me? Eh? My mother created me. Your mother created yes. you? Yes. Okay, so... so Mommy Grace. Yes. What can you define created you? Can I define created you? Yes. How did Yahweh create no, 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 you? Hold no, hold you are teaching if, us. If you can, hold no, on, you are teaching hold us. Hold on, hold no, on, hold on. You are teaching us. Grace, you are my guest. You, you said, are not my you host. Said, you said, you said, uh -huh. uh -huh. see, let me tell you something. Uh -huh. I ask you a question. Uh -huh. Which you answer? You said uh -huh. your mother created you. Uh -huh. And then I ask you, uh -huh. can you define your mother created you? Yes, I can. My so mother. Can, can you share with me? Yes. My mother impregnated me, gave birth to me. My mother's face is the first face I know. His first her first finger is the finger I know. My father fed me. So they created me physically. How yeah. did your mother create you? How do we create okay, so, so children? Fine. How so, do we make so, so, children? So, 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 so fine. So, so fine. How do we make so, children? So fine. So uh -huh. fine. So fine. Did your mother use her hand to create you? My father used his d to create me. Use his dick yes, to create you? Yes. How? How you don't know? Are you not? Are you? Uh, okay, you so, are so, married, so, so you so, know. So, so let me tell you. Uh -huh. Let me tell you why uh -huh. I disagree with you, hundred percent. That is. That oh, is relax. okay. So let me. It's so your let me, choice. So, so but let you me can't come, force that. So, so let me come. Created me. So let me come. I'm telling you Hold point on. blank. Hold on, mommy, mommy, mommy. In That's the process point. when you were in your mother's womb. Wafa. Your mother, relax. Wafa. Yahweh you have didn't me, create you. You have asked me a question, so I'm answering you. you I'm answering <laughs> you, and I'm telling you why your mother didn't create you. Okay. In the process, uh -huh. listen, in the process, mm -hmm. when that semen was being formed and being grown in your mother's womb, uh -huh. your mother did not have any hand like shaping because your mother even did, didn't even know the the, the 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 amount of blood in in that kind of a uh, in the baby as the baby was growing. Your if, mother if did not even mother, see. If relax, 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 relax. Your, your mother, mother where oh, will oh, relax, relax. Your mother did not even see you with his physical eyes in the womb. Oh, how? How? Mami this Grace. this shouldn't be a problem. Ma Mami I Grace. ask you a question, who God is? I'm only telling you. And you said you Yahweh is uh, a God. Uh, yes. Yahweh is a God who created the universe and the people in it. You said your and mother I'm created said, you. I'm I coming. said it is not true. No. Why are you, me, I am asking you questions and you are trying to turn the whole thing around. You said, I'm coming. Oh, I said, this is your topic. You said your encounter with God, the power of faith in Christ Jesus. Yes. So I said, define Christ Jesus and define God. Which you did. And you, I mentioned I'm coming. Yahweh. You define mm. Christ, mm -hmm. and you said God, and I, yeah, God, and I said define Him, and you said Yahweh, mm -hmm. and I asked you if Yahweh is the supreme being, mm -hmm. and you said yes. He created the whole universe mm -hmm. and created you and me. Yes. And I and said all things that we see and, and all things see. that we, we see, see and do not see and, 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 and uh, we do, do not see. And I'm saying that okay, mm -hmm. fine. Yahweh is a God that can create. People, but me, Yahweh didn't create me. Is that not my choice? And then I asked you, Is that no? Is that not my choice? Mother. I said, Your mother did not create you, he uh, didn't even add anything with the hand. What is the evidence that God added something to my mother? Because my mother got, uh, got pregnant where is the first man and decided from? to carry me. Who is the first man, anyways? I said, where is the first uh, man? No, who is from? the first man? If you answer my question, I will answer I, you. I'm the host, though, and I won't need out and you don't know who is the first man on earth. So I'm able to answer that question. No, no, if you answer me, where's the Because man? I don't if know. You, if you are saying no, if you are saying that God did not create, Yahweh did not create human beings, that's why I didn't I'm, say that. Don't get me. I said you Yahweh said did didn't create, create me. I didn't say human beings. I said ah. Yahweh can create me. But you're a human being. He didn't create me. Let it end there. 
I'm okay. telling you, Yahweh did, did, other... didn't create. Okay. I won't go to the other question. Give me the evidence that, what? that shows that God created me. My mother. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Let's leave this one. That shows that your mother what? I'm that interested. my mother didn't have any hand in creating me. Okay, so that's fine. what you said. Okay, so he didn't know oh, any oh, blood. Oh, no, no, no. If my mother when, should when, have when taken you, abortion, oh, really, really, where really, would really, I be? Really, relax, relax. Your your mother uh -huh. aborting aborting you uh -huh. does not qualify her as the creator of you. It's just like you have a plant in the soil. The fact that I go and I put it doesn't mean that I created that tree. Have I answered your question? You the fact that your mother has I'm, a, I'm not can, can actually abort. I'm not actually answer, I'm not actually based on what you said. I'm, listen, this mm. is a very simple thing. You are saying Yahweh created you and everybody here. Yes, including and I'm, you. I'm including me. Yes. And I, I am telling you that Yahweh didn't create me. Do you understand this? So he created who and who? I don't know. You are saying he created human beings. I didn't say that. And I am just telling you that Yahweh didn't create me. That's what I'm trying so to tell you. So your mother created you. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Okay? It's my choice. It's my right. You can't force anything that by force, uh, you, your truth should be my truth. No. We have only one truth. You can't say that. Why, why can't I if say that? If we have only one truth. The Christians said when they die, they are going to heaven to uh, walk on gold. The Muslims are also saying that when they die, they will go to heaven. The same heaven, okay. I'm coming. And married to 72 wives. Mm. And atheists believe, um, Krishnas and the rest also believe that when they go, they will reincarnate. Everybody has his it's or truth. her truth. Okay. So you can't come so, and so, force your truth on my truth. No. Okay, so now as we are speaking, mm -hmm. I have not held your neck. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you as it is. Um, <laughs> um, yes, uh, okay, so, so Ma Mommy Grace. Yes, Papa. Everybody can say anything that he wants, all right? Same, let oh, just like oh, you. relax, relax. You let me learn. Uh -huh. Everybody, we can have thousands of whatever uh, people will say, sorry. Mm -hmm. Whatever people will say and all mm -hmm. that. But at the end of the day, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, mm -hmm. there is only one truth. Which is, in my father's house, there are many mansions. Uh, Jesus said, who told you, yeah, I, I, who hold, told you relax, relax, there is relax, only relax. one truth? Relax, relax, relax. This is your problem relax, relax. too. Uh, Jesus said, I am the way, mm -hmm. the truth, uh -huh. and the life. Uh -huh. No one comes to the Father except by me. Mammy Grace, Which I beg father? you. I, I'm coming, I'm coming. Mammy Grace, I beg you. Uh, can you share with me anybody who has been bold to say that I am life? Were you there? Oh, Mammy Grace. Were you said there it. when you were saying it? Mammy Grace. Were you there? Were what, you there? Do you need to be, be at a place before you believe something? I'm just asking you a question. That's what I'm saying. That Mammy Grace, right now, if you are not here, if uh, you are at home, Right now, Mommy Grace, wait, uh -huh. wait, 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 wait. Based on what you have said, <laughs> Mommy Grace, yes. can you tell me that anything uh -huh. that you have seen uh -huh. that you have believed in? Uh -huh. No. Mommy Grace, no, no. can you tell me that uh -huh. anything that you have been there uh -huh. that you have believed? No. No. Then why are you saying that was I there? Are you um, Baumia? No, it's because you are uh, my no. Baumia. Who do you? Hey, your <laughs> vice president. <laughs> no, what I'm saying is that Jesus said he is the way, yes. the truth. Yes. And you said nobody has said that before. I can say I am the only person who can open and pay somebody here to eat. If I say that, it doesn't mean I'm saying that to the whole world. So if it is your truth, I understand and it is fine. The only thing can I want to... Can somebody say I am life? Are you not life? I am not life. You are not life. You so see, as you are sitting there, so, what so, are you? So I'm coming. I'm are coming. you a ghost? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold <laughs> on. Uh, 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 Ma 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 listen, listen, yeah. listen. As I'm sitting here, I am alive. But the life, the one I'm talking to you about is Jesus. That is your opinion. I, it is not my opinion, it's the truth. Margaret, we have what we call opinion. Okay? And we have what we call truth. Opinion is different from the truth. If I tell you this is black, this is black, it is not an opinion. It is black, as you are seeing it. So if I tell you that Jesus Christ is the way, the only way, you are reverent. So if you are against that Jesus Christ is the... Listen, uh, I, why are you trying to put words in my mouth? I'm not, I'm not putting words in your mouth. You are you putting said, words in my mouth. You said God, uh, Yahweh did not create I me. I said that Yahweh did not create me. So understand that. I know myself. I know who I am. And I'm telling you, your Yahweh did not create me. How is this a problem? Your mother can create you. Okay. No mother can create even, even how, many, how many creators do we have? I'm coming, oh. How many I'm creators coming. do we have? I'm coming, oh, please. Even, if even my mother 
did not create me. How many creators your do we have? Your Yahweh too didn't create How me many either. creators I'm do we have? You. Your Yahweh didn't create me. How many create creators me. do we have? Your Yahweh didn't create How me. How many creators you do we have? You know what you are talking about. You know what you are talking about. Mommy, Ma Mommy Grace. The Bible said, let us create man in our own image. It's let us. Us. Is it a plural or singular? I don't want this to be a God debate. the Father, Jesus the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Imagine, they are one. do you see Trinity in your Bible, Master? Trinity. Do oh. you see Trinity in your Bible? What is the meaning of Trinity? Are you asking me, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, do you see that Trinity in your Bible? Yes. Where? Quote it. Not, not, not the word, though. Not the word like Trinity. Ah, tr what, what is the meaning? Oh three in one. Oh, my God. It simply means three in one. That's all. Tell us about your encounter with God and the power and the faith in Christ Jesus. Tell us. I'm not going to ask you anything. Oh, no, but in the process. If you no, no, no. Ju you just tell us. I don't want this to be, you know. So tell us. Okay. Mommy Grace. Yes, sir. What's up, you I did. Nice. Sir. I love that. I love that. <laughs> anyway, Mommy Grace. Yes, darling. Um, when, when somebody, I, I will show you something on my skin, okay? Okay. Are you okay? I'm sure. Me, okay, I'm fine. okay. I'm fine. Okay, me, so I'm fine. a gossip I, oh, So, so, Mommy Grace, watch. Mm -hmm. watch. Um, I talk, can you see Kuzbom before, before it goes? Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you something about it. Mm -hmm. Whilst I was growing up, I, I, I said to God, God, I want to talk about you without getting tired. Okay? I want to share the gospel around the world. I want you to use me like you use Moses, like you use Elijah, like you use Nehemiah, Isaiah, Paul, and all that. I want to talk about you. I was lying in the sofa, like about 2 a.m., all right? And then I saw something over. You know, when God reveals something to you, it's not everything that you can like describe in details, but I will, I will describe it in the best of my knowledge. You know, um, when you watch scientific films, sometimes something can just appear like in the sky and they can operate on it. You know, it's these scientific, scientific films. It's oval, it's like a greenish something, something you can put your hand inside. It's an oval. It just came and entered me. And all I was saying as I was getting up was, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I was so excited. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ever since I had that encounter, Margaret, I can talk about God from as we are speaking here up to the following night without getting tired. Because it's just like um, when you have fire and then you are pouring um, a fuel inside it, the way it gets. So I'm being energized as I talk about God. And anytime I talk about God, I feel the Holy Spirit right from the soles of my feet to the very crown of my head. And that is what I show you. Okay. So I have seen where I was lying down like on bed. Okay. And then you, 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 you know this when... Like you are lying down all of a sudden, then your eyes will open. It's not like somebody has called you, but you just your eyes will just open. And then I saw a bright light lying on my bed. Meanwhile, my light was off. So I was lying down and asking myself, ah, where is this light coming from? I look at our first window, there was no source of light. Second window, there was no source of light. Then I ask myself, okay, now if this is a car light. A house is walled. So even if there's a street that faces our house and a car light even was, uh, it was uh, very high, there was, no, there was no way the car light will uh, jump our wall, pass through our window and come and lie on the bed. Then the answer came, it was an angel. There was a time um, I was lying down and then God showed me the fullness of the sky. And in normal circumstances, there is no way you'll be able to see the fullness of the sky. As I was looking at the sky, I saw an angel standing that appears in the middle, at the center of the sky. As I was looking at, this, at the um, angel in the middle, one appears on the left. Then in the split of seconds, another appears on the right. In the split of seconds, I couldn't count the angels. There were legends of angels who were flying like in the sky, in, in, in the skies. As they were flying, then all of a sudden, one flew all the way from the sky, stood in front of me, just like the distance where my brother was, looking straight into my eyes. He smiled, I smiled back, and then I woke up. 
I had instances where God also, um, I had instances, th this is what I even told you. I felt that God has come into the room. And then the knowledge I had was that God has come to take me and go and show me things and bring me back. Now in my mind, I realized that if God should do that, you would have to die before he can take you. I got scared. I said, ah, what if I would sinned against God and then he takes me and I don't come back? God gave me a chance to assess myself. I went through me and then I realized that I was ready to go and come. Immediately, I saw two hands. Two hands, one in front of me and one at my back. In real life, you would not be able to see uh, the hand that is at the back. But in RM, I saw the two hands, one in front of me and one at, at my back. I had a flashback of, um, uh, I had a flashback of um, a book that I had read before about a Chinese lady that God took her, went to show her things and brought her back. But before the person left, the person felt a sharp pain in the heart before the same soul came out. Immediately I had that flashback, I felt the sharp pain in my heart. Then all of a sudden I saw my soul, I saw my soul come out from this body whilst my body was falling back. And then God opened my eyes to see the entire earth. What I had realized was that the earth, the entire earth was being folded like a mat supersonically with a tough speed towards me, but it would never get to me. And then as I was looking at it, everything became vanity. Story building, cars, anything that you could see became vanity. And then God would shift, um, shift me to a very big screen. I'll see a certain gentleman who will come. He will tell me, he will come and teach me about the end time, what is going to happen, why it's going to happen, and how it's going to happen, and all that. Then God will shift me back to the, uh, um, the earth, like being folded like towards me. Like back and forth, back and forth, and then I, I got up. I had instances where, as I was growing in the Lord, then I realized that, I realized that whatever happened to me, there are flashes of light all over. Sometimes God will make me see the flashes of light. Like for instance, as I'm speaking with you, maybe you can see a flash of light, but uh, physically you will not be able to see it. Um, I have an instance where maybe I'm going to preach at a place. Somebody will take a camera and shoot it, and then in, uh, as I preach. When you see the video, you see like flashes of light all over will just appear and disappear and all that. When we finish the listen, I'll show you some, some of the video. And you, you said the part you said uh, God has filled your tank, your fuel. Yes. Uh, so oh, yeah, it's, it's not one. Okay, so, okay, we so, want to know so, about so, that one. Okay, too. so let me share that with you. Mm. You know, sometimes I used to use um, uh, Jeep Cherokee, all right? And I used to attend uh, living streams at uh, Behind Trade Fair. So one day, two of my friends told me that I should take them to Kita, okay? And um, so we arranged. I bought fuel, uh, diesel, uh, 50 cities. We wanted to go and come. It's a return, it was a return journey. So we bought fuel. We went to Papaya. We bought food, drink. We drank. And then we set off. By the time we got to Keta, my car was on red. So I shared a testimony about how God fueled my car from Muri Barrier, close to Cape Coast to Accra. It, just, it was just full or you parked somewhere to fill it. I didn't feel it. I'm talking to you about God filling the car. So let me finish the story, okay, so that you get it. So I shared with them about how God fueled my car, and I drove all the way from Muri Barrier, close to Cape Coast, to Accra. I, mm. was, I was driving um, Opel uh, Vectra at the time. So I shared this testimony with them, and then we went um, uh, to see, because they took uh, one of their girlfriends there um, to a nursing school at Keta. We got there, they bought food and uh, whatever they ate and everything. But I, when we finished eating and everything, I came out and all the prayer was saying that, God, we have this challenge. We had a shortage of fuel. It is late in the night and we will be going home. We need you to carry us on your wing back home. So I was praying when a brother came. I told you two of them. One's name is Victor, and then um, uh, the other name, I forgot if I remember, I'll tell you. Hmm. Then Victor came to me and asked me, Ben, this is about reality. The fuel is finished, and we need money. Go get fuel and put it inside the car, and then drive. Because it is late in the night. If the car should get stuck on the way, it will be very hot. I looked at uh, Victor and said to him, Victor, I'm talking to you about faith. Faith. Then we said, no, well, no, no, no. Well, faith. And then faith covers everything. Oh, no, we are talking fuel. about this particular uh, issue. <laughs> so I told Victor, Victor, I'm talking to you about faith. He said, no, 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 Ben. Uh, this is reality. Let's go get money 
and then go get fuel. I said, no problem. If you insist, go and get the money. But I continued and prayed. When I finished with the prayer, he brought ATM card. I think it should be from the, from the girlfriend, but they are now married. Came, we drove the car to, uh, what do you call it, ATM machine. And they were able to withdraw 20 Ghana cities. We drove to a filling station. We bought 20 cities diesel. When we took off, I was still praying. Honey is still, I was still praying. When we got to Zeka Kopi, the red pop up again. I turned and told them, now we are on God's fuel. Change the gear. Was on tough speed. By the time they realized we were on motorway, they began to shed tears. They were crying and giving praises and honor to God. For I, drove the them, car. I drove them all the way to Pentecost. They used to live at uh, Pentecost, behind La Pentecost. And then I drove the car all the way to Nungwa Nautica. All right? When I got there, I thanked God and then went back to sleep. Um, they when are saying our no, time is... No, no, I'm not done. Then I went to sleep, got up in the morning, went, sat in the car, drove. I picked a director. You know I'm an actor by profession. I picked a director from uh, Dutch Road and told him the testimony. When we got to First Junction, there's a filling station on the right, gave me 30 cities and I bought uh, fuel to, uh, and uh, filled the tank. All right? I've had an instance where I had shortage. I used to work at the National Theatre of Ghana. I was driving the same car that I told you that I got fuel from Muri Barrier to Accra. I didn't have money to buy fuel. I was so hard up. Even what to eat was a problem. I prayed to God. I used the car for three days. I was, I, I was working at uh, uh, National Theatre. Drove from Labadi to uh, National Theatre. For Theater, three days? Back for three for days. For 30 CDs? So you I didn't say I didn't. I'm talking to you about uh, God, two. God. No, no. I'm talking to you about two different cars. Matthias here. Matthias here. Yeah. Yeah. So you've experienced the, uh, the fuel yes, failing. I have instances where Matthias, yeah. God is healing people okay. and all that. Matthias, yeah, but I want to ask something. They are saying our time is due. I've, oh, I've, sorry. I've, I've asked for 10 minutes sorry, because sorry, I sorry. want you to answer some of these questions. Okay. okay. So um, have you heard about Archons before? What do you know about Archons? I don't know Archons. You don't know Archons? No, no, no. Okay. So on the cross, Jesus was praying mm -hmm. and he said, Eli, Eli, Sama, uh, Sama, yeah, Bana, Mejai Bible, Ninti, Kama, Minami. Eli, Eli, Nama, Sabatani. What's the meaning of that word? Um, he said, uh, forgive them for the no, no. No, no. Eli, Eli, Nama, Sabatani. Father, Father, why have thou forsaken, forsaken me? me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Which father was Jesus calling? His father. His father is Eli. What, what, I, I don't know. The, the what, word what he said. Eli, Eli, Sama, uh, Lama Sabatani, Father, so Major, father, Major, uh, I don't think uh, I'm yes, Am yes. I correct? Yes, talking about so his father. Wh which father was he calling? Do you which get father? me? Uh, was he calling? God. God and Lee? You see, Jesus is God. Okay. The Holy Spirit is God. God is God. Mm. God is God. Okay, your last words. But before you go, eh, let me leave this for you to go and make a uh, uh, pray about it since god talks to you directly i won't say make research i will say pray about it that uh -huh. I, will, I will i will tell you so i'm, okay. I'm waiting to uh -huh. listen because you know when you talk about god he said i am spirit so those who want to worship me should worship me in, in spirit, spirit yes. and in truth yes okay you ask me who created me we have realms and we have dimensions this dimension where we are now, this third dimension where we are now, the power is given to mankind to create. That's why I said my mother created me. That's why Jesus himself, who was God, has to pass through that human... Can, can we read the I'm Bible? I'm coming. Can we read the Bible? Please, we are done. I'm telling you something. So, you see, what I'm saying is human that we are Human beings are not created human beings. So, why did... It's procreation. Why? Procreation is different from creating. Exactly my point. So, this uh, mechanism is created by Nipadaseni. The reason Jesus himself has to enter that portal by Mary's womb to, be, to Please, come here. you have children, right? So, for me, have I have a lot okay, of so them. I, I beg you. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what are the elements that you use to create your children? Uh, four elements. Four elements, elements yes. water, fire, uh, air, and earth. Water, fire, Yes. Earth. How did you add the air? 
Can you show me the How process? How did I add the air? Yes, That yes. is what I'm, I'm... I'm very, very interested. As we are sitting the here, air, are air. we breathing? No, no, no. No, no are, are we air. breathing? Are we, as we are sitting here and talking, are we breathing? Uh, ah, so you created the air and I'm, then you formed so it. I'm, then asking, you you, I'm asking you a very simple question. Are we breathing? We are breathing. What are we breathing? Air. So why are you asking me where did I get the air? Because you said you created your children, no? The air, the, the, how did you get it to create? Your last words and advice to the public. Your last words and advice to the public. Okay, so my last word to the public is that, uh, my dear brothers and sisters, whoever you are, whatever monies that you have, whatever status that you think that you have, the certificates and all that, will die one day and leave all of them. But the question is, where we are going after here? If you want to be sh very sure of where you're going, I recommend Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, who was crucified on the cross because of our sins. Whoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. If you have not known Christ Jesus, I recommend him. Seek him and you will have life. If you want to get to know me more, you can just go on Google, just type, why I can prove that God exists by Benjamin Kwadi. I spell the Kwadi K-W-A-D-E-Y. You can also um, get in touch with me on 024-382-0090. And I will share more testimonies with you. I will send you audios of what God is doing and all that. God richly bless you for this platform. Margris, God bless you. Amen. Uh, lead people to Christ too. People okay. are watching us. Okay, so lead us. Uh, right now, if you want to give your life to Christ, say this after me. Say, Heavenly Father, I thank you that I've heard your word. I know I'm a sinner. Without you, I'm nothing. My certificate cannot save me. It is your son. I believe in the death and resurrection of Jesus. Please write my name in the book of life and cleanse my sins away in Jesus' name. If you have just given your life to Christ, all I will say, find a Bible-believing church and uh, just go. And you can get in touch with me and I also support you in prayer and all that and make you grow spiritually. Thank you so uh, much for bringing us Jesus Abusia. Woe at you, I tell you, I'm a mom, dear. Yahweh didn't create me, Macrow.